welcome back to the channel everybody this is what everybody's been waiting for kind of a demo on this um, I'll kind of show you how I have it set up and I'm going to go over some features uh, and everything on here um, I guess um, first of all you've seen the um, startup and the intro video uh, on how it looks when you first start it up so what you do is you use the um, the mode and the plus and the minus the dimming there but that's what you uh, use to control all this so looking at the screen right now um, you know through my camera here my GoPro it's very bright through the GoPro however when you're looking at it in real time um, it, it doesn't it doesn't uh, do that there's no glare or anything this is my camera picking up the brightness of it so um, it's very it looks very good it looks like a factory one as far as brightness goes uh, like I say on uh, the GoPro here it appears very bright just because I I'm not sure how to adjust all the lighting controls and stuff on my GoPro so um, I guess I should uh, tell you that it's it's uh, kind of deceiving uh, the way it looks right now. Okay, let's get started here. Um, first, uh, when you go into the mode, uh, this is this is the sport mode that I have. This is my favorite favorite one, and I always run the real time info, uh, which you'll see right here uh, has speed, LPK, it's miles per gallon, um, the gearbox temp or transmission temperature, oil pressure, and then the distance till you're out of fuel. Um, now you will notice that there are uh, there your fuel gauges are permanent on the left and right side, and then you have the fuel gauge here and the temp gauge there. Um, they are going to eliminate those, I believe. Um, there, there's no need to have double of everything. Um, so th this system is 100% upgradable. So once you get it in and you run your USB cord down to the bottom uh, where it's accessible they'll send you a file email you a file and you simply copy and paste onto a USB thumb drive and plug it in and it automatically updates I've already done one update so they're gonna change a few things on here um, they're gonna change the the font of the uh, um, the numbers uh, so like the speedometer stuff are a little different um, and and then um, I I think they might they're gonna uh, make it so you could toggle on and off the car on the right side maybe put some more info some different information over there um, so it, like I say this this is um, I, I'm utterly impressed I love it absolutely love the way it looks um, and then they're gonna tweak it even some more and they're gonna just make it better and that's one thing about the Linux system it's easy to work with it's easy to update so it's just a great great system this is a 12.3 inch screen and it's um, 720, uh, I think 1920 by 720 or something like that. Um, so it's a great, excellent uh, screen. It does have an anti-glare on it. Now with the camera, it looks like it's glaring with the camera, but it's not glaring with your with your own eyes. Um, so uh, let's go let's go back into the mode. Um, you do have your trip info, um, refueling. average fuel average speed um, you could reset all that hit to go to return okay let's go to the different styles I'll show you the different styles first uh, so simplicity that's more of your your twin gauge so that's your twin gauges right there. Once again, you'll see it does have the fuel gauge and the temp gauge. I'm not sure if they're gonna be eliminate those or keep them there, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, so let's see, we'll get out of that. We'll see what kind of a actual screen. Okay, we need to go over to exit. Exit, okay. So it does have the, um, the car in the center and I picked black so it's not so um, noticeable however what I do I go over to the trip and then I go to real-time info 
And so that that puts that in the center instead of having the um, the car in the center. It, it has that. Now another thing they're going to do, they're going to eliminate the um, the gauge here, the um, the RPM, digital RPM. I, I requested that. I, I think they're going to do it. I, I, I was telling them I think the gauge is enough. Now over here on the speedometer, I think the speedometer showing in digital and analog is great. Um, that's what most cars do now. But um, as far as the RPM, I think we'll probably maybe eliminate that. I'll have to um, I'll have to see about that. Um, I, but I think that's what they're going to do. So, um, and oh, here's another neat thing too. So when you put it into sport mode with your sport button, it automatically goes to the sport mode, which is really cool. Uh, this is kind of the same thing as my uh, my C8 Corvette. It does the same thing, very similar as far as what it does. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, um, I guess I can go over some of the basic stuff here. Um, you'll see it has the odometer on it, in, and then it uh, has your park. So there's your reverse, your drive, um, and then you could go into um, manual. Um, it has your headlights, uh, brights, obviously it's going to have everything there. Um, if you turn the radio on, on the um, Android head unit, um, you'll see that it displays the station up above. So it does talk to the head unit a little bit there. Um, and then it does have the uh, parking sensors too. Now you could sh you could activate and deactivate all this stuff. You could. It's fully custom. I'll kind of go into some of those too. So let's go back into mode. Let's go back into mode. Let's see, hold mode, I guess. Oh, I guess we have to go to uh, exit or return. I kind of forget that. Okay, we'll start over here on the left side. We'll just kind of go across. So here's the oh I, I do need to show you one more one more style here and it is the intelligent uh, I'm not a big fan of this it's it's different it's their own design which uh, they could sure do now it does tell the temperature of your coolant in actual degrees so 228.6 degrees which is nice um, and it has the the pitch and roll I haven't played with this at all on the street so. Um, that's something that I'll have to play with. Also, it shows up there. You'll see up in the right corner. It shows the temperature, your actual outside temperature, which is really nice. Okay, let's go back to exit. Now let's go back to sport mode. Okay, then we'll go down to return. Now we'll start clear on the uh, left side. This is assistance. Um, this is going to be your steering angle. Let's go into steering angle. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you do with that, to be honest with you. I'm still learning. So um, then you have your tire pressure. This is going to be another update. They are going to change this to PSI for us here in the States and everybody who reads uh, the tire pressure and PSI. Uh, so that's all working correctly. It's communicating. Of course, it goes through the ECU, and not the, not just the dash. Um, let's see, we'll go, okay, that's so that's the only thing there, and and they may um, add more stuff as time goes on too. Uh, the trip, I kind of went over that. You got real time info, trip info, startup, refueling. Um, so we can kind of go into each one of those. Real time info you've already seen. Trip info. Uh, so that's your odometer, um, and you could re hit hold OK to uh, reset trip, um, start up. Oops, go to back down, start up. So you could reset the, your you know your average speed. Say if you want you're starting a trip, you could you could change you could uh, start from fresh. You could reset everything. Okay, let's go over to style. We've already done style. Let's go over to vehicle settings. Um, vehicle settings. You got your trip. 
Let's go into the trip. A, trip B. So you'll see it there, uh, toggle on the right lower screen, trip A and trip B. And then you could, you could just completely hide it too. Um, I always have it on, I think, trip A, just uh, gyro calibration. Because, um, you know, the, these ECUs do have accelerometers and stuff built into them. So you could reset those. Um, return. System settings. Okay. So obviously you could do the uh, date and time. Uh, mine synced with the radio, so I don't need to do that. Go down to return. Now, and, and to set the date and time, I'll go back. Uh, what you do, you press and hold the mode. And it'll move it. Well, you, you press the mode and it changes it. So we could change it to 20, you know, change the numbers like that. And then you press and hold and it goes to the next digit to the next digit and then your plus and minus they just go down and scroll up and down here so we'll just go to return and you could confirm it language it has all the languages um, there's all the different languages and they may be adding more of that that would probably be pretty easy generic um, oh that's the brightness um, so when I don't have my headlights on uh, I can shut them off. You'll see how bright it goes. It gets super bright. Um, and you could adjust all that. Um, you could adjust the uh, the brightness at night. I have it clear down. Uh, mode. Auto. Um, let's see. And that, that adjusted my uh, climate control, I guess, the brightness on it. So let's see vehicle color. Uh, you could change. You could change the uh, vehicle color to any color you want. I just want mine black because I want it kind of hidden. Um, okay. Let's see. Go to return. Okay. We'll go back to factory. Here's the version. Tells all the information on that. MCU update. There's a code. Um, but I suppose I, they'll direct you on that if you had to actually do an MCU update. But usually it, you just plug the USB port in and it automatically does it. So I don't think you even have to do that. So factory, um, go into factory. And the code is um, one, oops, it's one, six eight that's the first code okay so we're gonna go into okay so you'll see the odometer you have to record your odometer and you have to set your odometer correctly now you cannot you could fudge it if you wanted to however if you were to hook up an OBD OBD2 scanner or anything the ECU keeps track of the actual mile of the car. So if you do that, you're going to get caught for, um, you know, messing with it. Or if somebody um, wants to see how many actual miles on it, they all they do is plug it in and it shows exactly how many miles. So um, I wouldn't recommend fudging with that. Um, but it does, uh, you do have to set your odometer so it comes with zero miles. How? Just remember, your ECU knows exactly so if you pull yours out put this in you go oh, crap i forgot how many miles this has all you have to do is put in an obd2 reader and and look at the real-time info and it'll tell how many miles your car has you can't hide that that's that's stored in the ecu permanently um and then you have your um your main tank Which I'm not. I'm not quite sure on the main tank and the sub tank. I, I don't understand what that is. There's your confirm vehicle Ma Maserati. Um, let's see. Return. Okay. So those are the factory settings on with that code. The next code is one six. nine instead of eight okay 
So it's 168 and 169, and they do different things. So we'll go long press, hit OK. OK, so tire exchange, I think this is where you uh, calibrate the tires right here. Um, tire pressure, I have it on, so it's reading the tire pressure. Um, steering angle on, not exactly sure what that does. Start, uh, start up, I'm not sure what that does. I think it's the animation. Um, a reset, I think it resets the... Um, um, one of the odometers, like every time you shut it on, it gives you a fresh screen of, of a trip, like at one of your trips. Um, uh, refueling on, so I suppose, uh, yeah, oh, I see, it tells you how many miles and based on your um, mile per gallon on when you need to refuel. Um, eco on off, that's kind of a, this, it's, it's a, Kind of a, it, it tells you how you've been driving. So if you're 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 driving nice, it'll 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 tell you that you're driving in an eco mode. Uh, you know, if you're flooring it, it, tells you if you're rodding on it and telling if you. So if you turn that on, that's kind of just some some different information. Date and time, you could actually turn off and on the date and time on the screen. Um, Twenty four hour or regular. Uh, meter exchange so you could like on the um, if you go into the other in the simplicity screen where the you have the tack and the speedometer you could switch those left to right very easy okay let's keep going here door info on uh, I actually might shut that off because it just tells I already have that on the head unit, so I don't I don't need that uh, telling me the door left or all right. Well, maybe I leave it on. I don't know. Uh, compass info uh, gives you a little compass up there in the right upper corner. Um, I don't have that on. Uh, trip unit you obviously turn it to MPH to uh, to where you're at. Um, Tank position, uh, this is kind of a universal thing. Obviously, our, the Maserati fuel tank's on the right, so it shows a little arrow over there saying your tank is on the right. You could switch that left to right. External temp on, of course I'm gonna have that on. Uh, the gyro calibration, I guess it calibrates itself because it does have an accelerometer and everything inside the ECU of all the modern cars. Uh, temp unit. Uh, that's obviously Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, reverse alarm off. I have it off. SWC key. I'm not sure what the that this is. And then there's uh, and then return. So basically, I believe. Let's see, we'll go get return out of this. I think that is about it. So. That's kind of the whole uh, whole thing. I'm going to get back over and uh, get my um, trip information because I like the real-time info. There we go. All right. Well, I hope this helps everybody. Like I say, this is the this design is fully customizable, and they're going to make some changes to it. So you buy it, and you know, like I noticed that there's a couple things that I'd like to see difference, and they said no problem. They're going to do some updates and make do some. You know, you could trigger some things on and off. Um, so if you don't want the car over there, I think they're going to make it so the car's not there. Um, just some kind of neat things. I'll tell you what, at night, this thing is just really cool. I did some um, shots uh, on my video here uh, to kind of give you a feel of uh, what it looks like in different lighting and stuff and what it looks like when it's off and all that. So um, hopefully everybody kind of gets an idea. Um, these are available for sale right now. Uh, mine is the matte black trim. You can get it in the dark carbon fiber or the piano black. Um, and they are uh, ready to ship. Um, I have them for sale on my website, www.elliotmotorsports.biz. Uh, you could uh, email me with any questions at all. I also have um, 
the head units, the climate controls, and all that, uh, the key, the remote key systems, uh, everything for sale on my website. So if anybody uh, has any questions, shoot me, shoot me an email, and I will be more than happy to answer your questions. Also, you can leave comments. I try and look at all my comments. Sometimes I'm not the best at getting to them. If I don't answer you, shoot me an email. Uh, you'll get a response a lot faster. All right. Thanks so much.